Running out of time, two seconds, deep, contested, three, no good. And you saw there a lot of ball screens from TJ Hargrove. You're going to continue to see that on the five-out offense that the Billikens run. Rupert spins, shoots, and scores. Johnson off to Rupert, those two, dynamic against Indiana State. Rupert gives it off to Johnson, and Johnson drains the deep three. That is great play design there by head coach Brian Mullins of SIU. The elevator screen to get his best shooter and score an opportunity to get it in the bucket. That's a turnover, two on Opportunity to get it in the bucket. That's a turnover, two on one. Johnson to Rupert, and Rupert lays it in. There, Zhang had a mismatch on him down low against Trent Brown, who's a guard, and a guard versus a seven-footer, usually a good sign for the offensive team. Rupert takes on Zhang, and he wins that one, scoring again. This is a team shooting 45% from the field as a group. Under 12 to go here in the first half. Johnson tries the three. He's already hit one. Now make it two. D'Amico had room, but so does Johnson. Doesn't shoot at that time. Closed down by Jimerson. Six points so far for Xavier on two of three shooting from deep. Here's a 2-3 zone from the Billikens. They played this against Utah State. They were fairly effective. Step back, shot up, and that is good for Johnson. And it's led to positive results. Stulich tries a contested three. Doesn't matter how good. Good offense will be good defense every time and heavily contested. Doesn't matter its bottoms. Heavy fall there. It doesn't matter its bottoms. Heavy fall there, and now the Slugies take it the other way. One player down, no look pass, and that shot is good by Davis. And the uh, Saluki fans looking for an over the back foul there, but the officials didn't see it. Johnson tries another one, and he hits another one. Side coming up and just tipping it in. The Salukis need to do a better job of boxing out. Another risky pass from Johnson looking for Brown. Dalger was all over it. Here comes Xavier. And Johnson pulls it back out. Already so far, 11 points for Xavier. Looking for 14. He's got 14. What a shot. Here in the first half. Johnson's already got 14. Takes on Hargrove. Tries the jumper. And that is somehow good. D'Amico, Johnson, Rupert, as well as Brown and Kennard Davis Jr. on the court for SIU to start the second half. As that's stripped away, another turnover in the second half. So the three was good and another possession granted. Here is Johnson. Johnson flying in and the layup is good for X. Played so far this season for SIU. Now he has a steal. Here comes Johnson the other way and Medley called for the foul. Boards. That snapped a 7-0 SIU run. 23 point lead, Johnson with it. Gets by two, make it three, and the layup is good. Make it 17 now as SIU leading the way. D'Amico, can he do it another time? Far before that big nine-point outburst he just had, we weren't really thinking of him as one of the main scorers today. And now Davis hits one. Travis, Travis Ford last night, he said one of the biggest strengths of this team is their three-point defense. It's been that all season long until today. SIU breaking through a usually strong slew three-point defense. Johnson all the way to the rim. Shot is good. Counted in the foul. Foul call. His eighth start of the game here today. He was only able to play six minutes before leaving with an injury. He has not been back in since. SIU playing without a couple key players of their own. A.J. Ferguson, who has started the first five games of the year. As Johnson tries a three. Oh, that's pretty. Xavier. Adamville High School in St. Louis, Missouri. Gets slew back on the board. As it is a 90-51 Saluki lead. Johnson again, that's for 31. 